Good day. I'm your first lecturer from this Math 112 solid menstruation, including the topic of the geometric solid, polyhedron, and the prism. This is the part one. Okay. Let's start from myself. I'm Michael G. B. Diaz. As your lecturer for today, I'm taking up, currently taking a Bachelor of Science in Architecture at Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology. All of the necessary information in this presentation, um, the copyright is belong to the um, respective owners. Um, all of unnecessary mis mistakes is not intended and I'm open for corrections. Okay, let's start from a little trivia. We have here the three worlds of our world. Um, the physical world, subjective world, and the mathematical world. When it comes to physical world, it is the world that we touched, seen, feel. That are, that, those are the things that is tangible to us. And then we have here the subjective world, which is the world inside our brain. The world we think and imagine. And next, finally, we have here the mathematical world. The mathematical world helps us to treat ourselves and realize the situations and practical applications around our life. Hi, Lods. Okay, hi, Lods. Let's start from here to gain knowledge. Today, kaya mo yan. Kaya, kaya mo yan. You can do it. <sighs> Next. Okay. Let's start from here, or let's begin here, from my own philosophy about mathematics. Math is a friend of mine, but an enemy for my mind. Moreover, heart can feel wisdom, and math can help you understand. Ibig sabihin, math is considered as your friend. Okay? Pero enemy ng utak natin. Kasi sinasabi ng utak mo, mahirap ang math, mahirap ang math. But moreover, math can help you understand and realize things to things. Yun yung magic between or within mathematics. Kasi we can relate things na hindi natin inaasahan. Those are, those are the power, the magic of mathematics. We can feel and we can understand things because of math. Okay, these are the overview of our um, contents, the solid menstruation, geometric, and then we have here the polyhedron and then the prism. So let's start from the solid menstruation. Ano nga ba si solid menstruation? Bakit ba? Bakit ba siya pinag-aaralan? So solid menstruation is also known or um, as the solid geometry is the study of the various solids. It is a study of the measure of volume, area, height, length. Um, and many more. The subject is used extensively in the practice of what? Engineering. The knowledge this, the knowledge of this subject is necessity for engineers in any project construction. So that's one of our majors or one of the um, competencies that we have to learn because as an architect for the future, we have to collaborate with our engineers to have an introduction. Uh, um, a knowledge, a basic knowledge about what they're gonna do to our project or to our future projects to measure and to create an expectations about measurement. Okay. These are the previous topics about or the formulas. So later on, it will discuss ng ating mga, um, mga lectures or mga next lectures natin. Yung the details nila is about yan, rectangle, the parallelogram, papahabiyo na lang po yan, just an overview about the formulas. We have here the circle, mga pinagkuna ng sphere, ganun. Then we have here the, the 3D dimensions, solids. So we have the rectangular solid, kabilang dyan si, si cube and rectangular prism. Um, ayan po yung mga formulas nila. So later on, uh, didiscuss ng ating ibang mga lectures. So prism, cylinders, Pyramids and coats. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so next, we have here the geometric solids. So geometric solids. Okay, what is geometric solid? Ano nga ba si geometric solid? So geometric solid is any enclosed. So sabi dito, let's have here the example. Any enclosed three-dimensional. So meron siyang height, meron siyang width, meron siyang length. So any closed three-dimensional object, the volume of a solid, um, describe how much space it contains. And all geometric solids have defined volume that can be calculated. So, it means, defined volume and defined um, 
Uh, and pwede mo siyang makagulate. So we have here all solids have volume which can be calculated. These are some of the uh, solids figure. We have the pyramid, the cube, the prism, the semi-regular polyhedron, and then the cone, the sphere, cylinder, etc. So kita niyo dyan si prism and then yung word na polyhedron mamaya discuss natin kung bakit sila nandiyan. Okay, we have here the properties. Solid have the properties, special things about them is their volume. And then we have here the surface area. So when it comes to the volume, so this is one of the examples pa din ng solid. So volume, it's not just about the solid. Eh, yung volume kasi, di ba, when we, we're talking about the matter, it's about the space, kahit hangin pa yan, it has also particles. So, huwag sabihin, meron pa rin siya inoccupy na space. And then the surface area, just for example, yung pipaintan mo na surface area, hindi yung nasa loob ha, itong paligid na to. So, that is a surface area. Okay? So, how many vertices? Meron siyang vertices, may fascia, and edges they have. So, may discuss natin yung mga yan, parts ng, ano. So, and it can be a compact or can be a container. So, let's move on now to polyhedron. So, ano ba si polyhedron? So, polyhedron is a three-dimensional solid made by joining together the polygons. So, ibig sabihin, yung polygons. So, ano ba si polygon? Siya yung mga may sided um, shapes or figures. The, the word polyhedron comes from the two Greek word poly, meaning many, and the hedron referring to the surface. The polyhedrons are defined by the number of the faces it has. So, 3D pa din siya, pero tinutuan siya, enclosed by polygons. Okay, so they define nung number, no faces niya. So, sinasabi yung tinatawag na faces, it, ito. So, discuss natin. Wait. Okay, this one. The face. So, ang example dito is a tetrahedron. So, ito is rectangular prism. So, just like this one din naman. So, meron siyang face. Ayan. And then, meron siyang edges. Ito yung nag-define dun sa shape mismo. Ayan. And then, we have the vertex. So, so vertex, ito yung pinaka-dulo o yung pinakatulis, pinakasulok ng mismong figure. Okay, next, we have here examples of the polyhedron. So, sabi niya kanina dito, um, dinidefine, dinidefine ng number ng face, ang pangalan, o kung ano ba yung polyhedron na yun. So, we have here tetrahedron, may apat na faces. Um, pentahedron, we have five faces, and so on. So, we have here the types of polyhedron naman. So, sa types ng polyhedron, we have regular and irregular. Irregular, rather. Irregular polyhedron. Kapag, okay, to definition niya, regular polygons, pag sinabi ng regular polygons lang naman, um, it has um, yung bawat uh, figure niya or shape niya, na faces niya, it has an equal sides. Pag naman irregular, so it can have different shapes yung faces niya, pwedeng iba-iba ng shape. So, pag regular, iisa lang yung face niya. Pag naman irregular, pwedeng iba-iba. So, kahit saan mo siya iharap, yung sa irregular, magkakamuka. Pero yung sa irregular, pwedeng iba-iba yung face. Or yung shape ng face nila. So, let's have the common polyhedra. So, we have, here, we have here the platonic solid, prism, and then the pyramid. So, pag platonic, magkakamuka yung face. Pag prism, discuss natin mamaya about the prism, meron siyang talawang magkamukang base. So, the base yung mamaya tatap titingnan natin kung ano yung base na tinatawag. So, kapag kapag pyramids, yung bases nila nasa ilalim. Yung ilalim na yun, flat lang. That's just a flat surface. And then, papatuloy sila. That's the pyramid. So, we have here the fun pack. So, guru, lagpasan na natin yan. Okay. And then, finally, let's have the prism. So, sa prism, um, it's all about three-dimensional solid object with is two, yung two ends niya is identical. So, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, yung, eto, this is, example pa rin to ng prism. So, yung face niya dito, face niya pa rin dito, magkamukha lang sila ng, ng sides. Ayan. So, example pa is this one. So, nakikita nyo ito, lalagyan natin ng um, scale. So, nakikita nyo ito, triangle siya. Ayan, triangle yung shape niya. Ayan. Then, na-adapt niya din yung shape niya dito. Ayan. Kung lalagyan mo siya ng maraming triangle sa loob, ayan, puro triangle yung pwede mong maipasok sa kanya. Hindi mo siya pwede malagyan niya ng square kasi yung base niya is triangle. So, yun yung karakteristik ni prism. So, it has also a, a length. Ayan, yung haba niya. Okay, next, these are the sum 
of the um, practical application or real life application that we seen in our real life. We have here the house, the prism, the football, soccer. It is included. Masasabi mo yan na it is part of the geometric um, figures kasi. Ayan. As geometric solid rudder. And then we have here the type of prism. We have regular prism. If the base of the prism are in a shape of regular polygon, it is called regular prism. Kapag regular yung shape niya or it has an equal side, so regular prism yon. Pag naman irregular prism, yung base niya in a shape of irregular polygon, then the prism is called an irregular prism. So yung bases niya, yung kabilang dulo, kapag hindi sila equal yung mga size or yung edges nila, ibig sabihin, hindi siya regular. So irregular siya. So that is the difference between the two types of prism. So we have here the comparative analysis about a geometric solid, polyhedron, and prism. So um, as a summary, so the geometric solid volume, it has a volume, it has a surface area, and any enclosed figure, basta na enclosed siya, that is a geometric solid. And then we have here the polyhedron, and then prism. Sa polyhedron, yung mga uh, yung mga uh, mag enclose sa kanya is a polygonal shape and then sa prism naman the same din kaya lang yung dalawang edges niya i don't know the dalawang bases niya magkamuka i mean identical silang dalawa so balik tayo dito magkamuka silang triangle and then triangle din dun sa kabila this is example of a prism it is a trigonal prism so ito naman um the Ito naman is a rectangular prism. Okay. This is the recipe that I have formulated for you to more understand mathematics and to be friend with him. <laughs> so, first one is that you, are, you have to accept your weaknesses. Um, then you have to set your mind. Magbasa ka, you have to read and then exercise problem solving. And then don't stop believing. Andiyan lang yan. Kaya mo yan. Basta, just don't stop. And do your thing. Let's end from this quotation. Always motivate yourself. Always believe on yourself. Because if not you, then who? Again, I am Michael GPDS. That's the end of my presentation. Let me introduce you to the next lecturer, Miss Aldrin Kate Arcelia. Thank you very much.